Can you turn your camera off? No. I'm asking you to turn your camera off, please. Yeah, I know that. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we've come to Birmingham at Canton Lane, a B46 postcode, to have a look at the Jaguar Land Rover Battery Assembly Center, or the back, as they like to call it. It's a very, very new building. In fact, they're still building the, uh, the unit next door. So yeah, there is like um, a public footpath that comes up from there. It stops here, but there's certainly a public footpath across the road, and we can certainly get up to the barriers, and we could even get up to those barriers up there, really. But yeah, let's go and have a look around, see what this place is all about. So according to their website, this is a 39,000 square meter site in Hams Hall and will be the manufacturing home to the battery units that will power Jaguar Land Rover's next generation of electric vehicles. And just as you would expect, they do have electric charging. But you know what? For a company that's making batteries for electric vehicles, I would have thought they'd have more than this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just eight. Hi. Have you got any camera there? Sorry? Have you got a camera on? Yeah, I'm making a video today. For who? For me. Okay, you, you can't come on here, so can you turn your camera off? I can't turn it off, but what, what? No, you can't film me, that's what I'm saying. You have to come over to me, my friend. No, but this is, this is, it's relevant to, who, who are you from? I'm just a member of the public, but okay, what are you trying to say? This is private property, you can't come on here. Right. Okay. Right, where does your property start? Can you turn your camera off? No. I'm asking you to turn your camera off, please. Yeah, I know that. I've got a right for you not to film me because... Obviously, if you don't want to be filmed, why don't you just walk okay. away? Um, your restricted areas start at the barriers. When, when this, it's publicly accessible. So over there, it belongs to the landlord. Okay, that entrance. Okay, there. okay. So we'll ask you to go out there, please. Yeah, um, before we get to that stage, I'll just let you know that due to the lack of any barriers at the main road, and you've got a public footpath coming in, and I presume you've got a visitor's reception, have you? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. No? no well, I've not found that out yet. So obviously I've come here today to make a video because I believe this is the place that makes the new lithium batteries for the new Jaguar Land Rover vehicles and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So for my audience, who you don't know who my audience are just yet, all you've, all you've done is started saying don't film and well, please I'm leave. Not, I'm not so, not filming, because if I was filming you, you, you wouldn't want them to Well, I need to see how professional you're being. And without the lack of any barriers at the main road, people will walk in and they will show an interest like myself. And the first person I've met is Gary Phillips. Uh, 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 whoa, no. Well, you've got it on display, my friend, and you're out in public. No, I think you're, you're overstepping the mark. You're filming me, which I've asked you to turn your camera off. Yeah, and I've politely declined that, haven't I, Gary? Okay, I think what we'll do then, who are you, and who are you from? You can see who I am, yeah. so who are you? Remember, the public doesn't have to have ID, but because right. you work for a business, it's just, it's just courtesy of you and to I, let the public know who you I'm are. It, yeah, so, but I don't need to tell you, do so I? who are you, and where are you? I'm what a member of the public, exactly? member of the public making a video because this place is a topic of interest for my audience. So I've come what here, audience, my audience and my audience who I make videos for. So the fact that you make electric, um, sorry, the fact that you make lithium batteries here, why have you only got a little amount of charging points? Because most of the car park has got none. And obviously the future is going to be electric vehicles because that's what you're gearing up for, isn't it? So I would expect more. That's one thing that I've noticed. Any okay. reason why? Would you have some courtesy and turn your camera off? Unfortunately, Gary, I'm here for the sole purpose of making a video today, and I'm here to but, see how... But, and I, I will say, well, there's no barrier there, okay? As soon as you do come in, I would say that is the property of the landlord and the people who are renting this. Yeah, and any okay. rules that you wish the, so, the members of so the public to filming. abide by should be signaged out there. So if you don't want no filming or you don't want no parking, you, you make signage to specify to the people what your rules are. But as we walk on, we're assuming that, oh, it's publicly accessible, let's have a look around until we meet someone like yourself. And the first impression wasn't very good, but you've still got time to yours redeem that. Because you're not cooperating, yours isn't very good, because you're not cooperating with me to tell me who your audience is. It'd be nice to know who you are, 
and then more, we might be able to communicate to people. Yeah, better. unfortunately, like a mystery shopper, we don't tell people too much. We just arrive and let it happen. So it, you're, you're narrating how this is going to end up. But I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm not going in past the barriers. Where are you presuming that you're going to go? From? Anywhere publicly accessible, just to see what I can find interesting. And anything odd, because I find that the lack of electric charging points is quite odd for a company that's driving the future in this market. Would you agree or not? I'm not going to answer that. Okay. I won't answer any questions. Okay. Because we don't know who you are. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Just leave me alone for a bit. I'll only be no, about 10 minutes. No. I think what we're going to do, we're going to act because we don't know who you are, we don't know what you're about. I think we're going to make a decision here, and I'm going to ask if we call the police. Is that what you're going to decide to do? And then the police can decide what grounds you have got to walk around this area. Yeah, yeah, that that's quite fair, Gary. Um, are you willing to say your name, sir? Yes, I'm Matthew. Matthew. Yes. What's your position, Matthew? Because Gary looked at you a bit of authority there. I don't, I don't, so, sir. I'm asking you to leave the premises. Okay. Okay. Because, um, yes, it's uh, publicly accessible, but it's not open to the public. Okay. Okay, please, can you leave the premises, please, sir? Yeah, that's, that's a fair um, conversation to have. Now, you, you do have the right to ask people to leave the premises, yes. but if they decline, it's then only trespass, yes. and it's a civil matter, yes. and the police, the police wouldn't get involved. It would end just between me and yourself, and normally the way it escalates is you, you get, um, like if a caravan came in here, for example, and parked, you would involve your solicitors and get them evicted. So the worst case scenario, I'm still going to walk around and make my video. Mm, no, sir. Go on. Down to the landlord and their authorised agents to uh, use reasonable force to remove you. I don't want... Ah, right, OK. So have you watched these type of videos before? Yes. Thank you. Yes, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Right, OK. Well, in that case, um, are you thinking about using reasonable force? No, I'm going to try and convince you to leave the premises. Okay, uh, okay. Where, what type of video have you watched? Um, various auditing ones. Thank you, thank you. Right, now you've mentioned that word, I'm going to leave you alone because you know what this is about and I'm, I've tested your professionalism. You've been brilliant. That's all I'll say about yourself, yeah? So have a nice day. That's okay. all I'll say. And I would, I would suggest that if you tell the other people that are going to interact with public because you will get other people come in, if they just watch a few like yourself, that's the way to deal with it. Okay. Have a nice Thank day. You. Thank you. Uh, safe journey. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. It's a lovely building, by the way. I'm going to read a bit of a script from the public footpath about the place just to end the, the video. You have got a nice um, internal page that I've just noticed. I'll just Before I go, I'll just quickly show you because you see that there? Ah, yes. I'm just going to read a bit of that. And that's got quite a lot of information that will just end the video. And I'm going to take the drone over as well just to get a nice shot. But I know I'm allowed to do that from a public footpath. All right, so yeah, have a, have a good day. Okay. Look, thank you for your professionalism. Thank you, sir. So there we go. So the, the message of these auditing videos is working. You know, when people like that, they know, they say, right, you are trespassing. And the last resort, we will use reasonable force. Now, I do not want people to be pushed that far so that, that they have to use the reasonable force. I do not want it because it's going to ruin their day and it's not what I'm about. So we'll just read a bit of information about this place. We've saw a little bit. We've seen how professional they behave and it's time to take the drone over, I think. So the person that recommended me to come to this place, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, let's get the drone up. So we had the drone ready to go out as shown just there. But as shown on the screen, we're in a flight restriction zone, as shown in red on the screen just there. So unfortunately, we will not be taking the drone over this place. But it certainly got them worried, look. They're all on the phones out there worried. So we're going to leave this place alone. With the drone. So yeah, from the internet, we've just got a bit of information to read out. The new Jaguar Land Rover plug-in models. Uh, the cells will be produced in the UK and the lithium iron cell gigafactory which is this one here will be operated independently the jaguar land rover battery packs will be produced in an all new battery assembly center which is this place here from 2020 the lithium battery place jaguar land rover of course yep yeah. yep 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 so same thing i've gone in there now the lithium batteries are the future and to have a lithium battery gigafactory in the uk is very important to the future of our our electric vehicles so I'm making a video about that, talking positive things. Now, if they come out and they make it I negative... Think, yeah, I think all it was, the only call that we had from them was, um, obviously, they're, it's a fairly new plant. Yeah. Um, and they're probably 
on their toes with security and things like that. Yeah. They, were just, they were just a little bit spooked. Yeah. I'm sure so. I mean, I'll, I'll go and have a chat with them and explain it all and they'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, well, I did explain and I said yeah. to him, have you watched this type of video before? And he said, yes. He's watched Audit in Britain, for example. That's yeah. one that everyone knows. So he goes, in that case, I'm, I'm just going to leave now because you know what I'm here to do. You've what, acted... What is it that you're... I'm here to make a video and to yeah. see how professional people behave. Right. And sometimes they don't behave professional, but they should. Because yeah. I'm an innocent member of the public, wandering on a public... I never go past barriers or, or get or climb fences or anything like that. Yeah. And it's just co content creation. Yeah. But, but I'm always polite, and as soon as I'm asked to leave, like he's just told you, I've left. So I don't, don't uh, want you to waste your time being here too much. No, but no, 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 no. I think it was, it's like I say, I think they were just a little bit spooked. They, they'd not had it before. They yeah. knew sight. So they just wanted to make sure that everything was fine, which I'll go and tell them that it was. Yeah, I thought that it was because I mentioned the drone and I was going to take the drone because I like to finish my videos with a drone shot, but we're near to the airport. I was going to say, yeah, you so have to be careful there. because No, once I've got it out, I've got the software open. It tells you yeah. that you can't fly. So I'll put it straight back away. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say because uh, yeah because we have to get permission and all sorts of yeah. hours because yeah. we're so close to so close to the airport. On my videos, I always end it with a drone shot that I always check. Obviously, it won't let you fly, so I know when I'm allowed to and when not to. Yeah. And I've I've covered the I've been uh, yeah I've gone deep into it with the police before. <laughs> but anyway, I'll let so you. If that's all new legislation and all sorts, isn't it? With yeah. Well, mine so. just just so you know, a 249 gram weight drone. It's a very small one. Yeah. It can go anywhere that the software will allow. So. But obviously the software don't allow near airports. Yeah. You can't go over a crowd of people, and that's a thousand people or more. But apart from that, as long as it's got the operator ID printed on there, that will link you to the person that's uh, responsible for the drone yeah. for your computer. Right, that's enough talking. I'll let you carry on. All right, take it easy. Take it easy, thank you. So that's about it from this Jaguar Land Rover battery assembly center. We've just um, established how professional they are. One guy knows about auditing videos, the other one doesn't. But I just wanted to highlight that this type of place in the UK is crucial because as, as um, electric vehicles get more popular, having somewhere in the UK that actually makes the batteries is so important because moving lithium batteries around the world is so difficult. It comes with so many challenges because they're like an explosive and nobody wants to touch them. We have to have so many regulations. So just having them made here in the UK it's, it's the future basically and some people say that it's a must so these places will become more popular and I would have thought security will get much more tight we walk right up there they've situated themselves near Birmingham Airport so we can't actually take the drone over but we tried so I'm gonna wrap this one up here guys and if you have enjoyed it give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one and they're still messing about outside they should just get back to work I think Bye-bye for now.